Hi, I'm Christine. Today we are looking at the most beautiful silver to enhance your natural colors and wardrobe. Could be jewelry, could be eyeglass frames, belt buckles, eyeshadow, shoes, all parts that cooperate or go together to create a united appearance. I love metals because they reflect a lot of light and they add so much radiance to the person wearing them. For silver to look great with a person's natural colors, their clothing, their makeup, their hair color, they're all related, the person has to have some coolness in their natural colors or seasons. Well, that's 10 of the 12 groups. We're going to be looking at silver by comparing the seasons. So let's take a minute to get our orientation. I love maps because they show us relationships. Here you can see the two true cool seasons, true summer, true winter, on one diagonal. And each one has their two neutral seasons that move towards one of the warmer seasons a tiny bit. Mostly cool, so their warmth level, every color in that group, is cool neutral. On the other diagonal, you can see the true warm seasons, true autumn, true spring. Each one has their two neutral seasons that moves out towards the cool seasons a bit, but they're mostly warm. Every color is warm neutral. Well, that makes four true seasons and eight neutrals. Well, actually, you could say each true season has four neutrals, like true autumn has soft autumn and dark autumn right next to it, warm neutral and appears in a smaller dose one step further out in soft summer and dark winter, cool neutral. A dark autumn is mostly autumn, but drifts a bit towards winter. So it is a neutral season. It combines warmth and coolness, and all eight neutral seasons do that, meaning that all of them are good candidates for wearing some version of silver. Silver also behaves a lot like white, and for the true warm seasons, true autumn, true spring, the combination of silver or white with that type of coloring, it's not the most attractive choice that the person can make. With no coolness in their colors, silver can't find any common ground, and it's, there's just no way for it to work with the person and the rest of their wardrobe. In the same way that gold doesn't find a way to work with the seasons where every color is cool, meaning true summer and true winter, some seasons have traditional shape associations. You may hear about springs and triangles or teardrop shapes. You may hear about summers and circles. And those are just not going to apply to every person. All body types will appear in all seasons or groups of coloring. And they weren't in my mind when I chose the pictures that we're about to see, but they may come up as we go along. If you've had a style analysis, follow those guidelines for your jewelry shapes. Season is about color and by extension, the reflection of light, because that's what color is. And it's especially relevant with metal. You can have matte, you can have satin finishes, you can have ultra shine because that's how metals work with clothing, with cosmetics, matte always works. You don't have to wear shine in clothing or in makeup ever if you don't want to and still look absolutely great. And by matte, I don't mean those ultra dry long wearing finishes that we see nowadays. I just mean a powdered surface and you can be completely in season, any of the 12 seasons and look great without wearing shine. The images today were made in your style. Links will be in the description box if you want to follow them for shopping information. The blog post with the video, including the script, will be up on my website within a few days. Link also in the description box. Please keep in mind as we look at the pictures today, that this is just one person's opinion. Same with all of our videos, you know, if 10 people sing a song, it's gonna sound different, but it doesn't mean one is right and the others are all wrong. This is just my interpretation of how the season concept might look in metals. Let's start by comparing the true cool seasons. True summer, true winter. Summer has softer colors, reflects a softer, more pearlescent light. Winter has brighter colors, reflects a whiter, clearer, sharper light. Some silvers could go into either group, depending on the person, and those ideas are shown in the center lineup. So summer at the top, the heart bracelet. Brushed surface diffuses the shine to be softer over a larger area, rather than coming to a focused white point. Very cool color here, no visible gold or orange in that silver. Indoor lights often warm, and silver can look warmer at times, but the person's under the same light, and so the differences balance out. Second item down, the fanned drop earrings, they reflect a soft light. 
The colors are grayer, both in the metal and in the reflected light. Beautiful for summers because that softness follows through their makeup, their clothing, and so the jewelry looks very belonging with the person without ever, ever stepping apart from the person. Third one's down, brushed surface of those chunky hoops, also soft. The surface doesn't feel frosty. It doesn't feel frozen. There's no warmth here in the sense of yellow or gold. In fact, maybe the reflection's a little bit pinkish. Also beautiful because there's a soft pink violet undercurrent that runs through summer colors and summer people. In the row marked either, those swirly dangles, they're shiny, they got sharp edges. Winter is happy with that kind of thing, but they also have wavy lines that work well with summers. Cool silver, second item, there's more of a blue tinge and more shine. Well, cool seasons like that blue colored metal and the shape is delicate and curved, sort of like tendrils of hair or a ribbon. Very nice with summer. Finally, the aquamarine trio, made with fine wire. There are, there are areas of high shine, but they're small and there are skin spaces to help adapt the color, kind of like sheer makeup would do, where the natural skin colors can show through. And here in a color that often repeats the natural eye colors of both summers and winter colored people. And then in the winter lineup, those silver sphere earrings, very shiny, very cool color. We said with gold, we talked about it a bit at the end of the Your Best Yellow video, that you want the gold to look belonging with your palette yellows. Well, silver being similar to white, you want the color to align with the lightest of the neutral colors in your palette. It just has to look believable, it has to have some continuity. The effect you wouldn't want would be to lay the silver earrings on your palette colors and think, well, like these are less attractive <laughs> when you put them together. Th this combination is just not working. If you laid these silver sphere earrings on the neutral colors or the entire palette of a summer group, the earrings would look dominant. They would look demanding and the colors of the person wardrobe, uh, they would seem tired, faded, receding, sinking. Somehow the person becomes harder to see because they're wearing these earrings that are way too easy to see. Not bringing out the best in each other. Lay the earrings on a winter group of colors. They look shiny, they look expensive. They enhance the overall radiance of the person, of all the colors, because they reflect light in a similar way. So there's this compounding effect of the jewelry standing on the shoulders of the colors of the person. The silver band, simple silver, shiny surface. This is the iceberg, not the opera. True winter is not jittery. They're still, they're like a statue. Summer's a little bit still, but they're a bit more like a portrait. Shine goes to white. There's a mirror finish. Mirror, like you can see yourself mirror. It's not just you can see through it like jelly or frosted glass. And so it creates a harder type of sensibility and a whiter reflection. The silver pearls bracelet might have a slight blue tone. There's no particular color really, just white and black. That idea of no particular color, that carries through winter neutrals. Their wardrobe grays, blacks at all darkness levels have very little color. So the eye can find balance when the color colors have a lot of color pigment, a lot of color saturation, tension and release. It's the way of the universe. Next, we're going to look at the eight neutral warmth seasons. So we saw these when we looked at the map before. They combine warmth and coolness in their colors, so they are all compatible with some version of silver. The lights and the softs, in fact, the first two columns, combine summer's color properties. Lightness of color, softness of color. The lights are blending summer with spring, bright and light. Pink watch strap is the first one. Well, the colors on the cooler side of the lights. So light summer, true summer, maybe. But that sparkle of diamonds, the shine of the strap, that brings in spring. Spring does well with many levels of shine from glow to gloss. And a watch, jewelry, the nice thing about it is a lot of it is small in size and it's worn further from the face. So everything doesn't have to be perfect. There just has to be some common ground to bring it into the presentation. The second item, the Versace watch, and what we say today could apply just as well to white cold. The reflection of the metal is less blue than with the pink watch. Seems barely yellowed. Maybe you could call it creamy silver. I think either light season would wear this. 
the candy pink ring, I think it's the cutest ring, the smooth shine does not feel hard. The colors on the cooler side of the light seasons, so maybe more light summer than light spring. The opacity, that chalky way of softening the diffusion of light, that's lovely for summers. But the piece is small. It shares so much that looks great with spring, meaning that smooth bubble effect that suggests lift and lightness that I could easily see a light spring wearing this as well. And then the last earrings is a gradient. Hammered surfaces, another way to soften the reflection. Some yellow in the reflection from the metal too. So it warms it up a tiny little bit for these slightly warmed seasons. Plus turquoise, easy for any spring. And gradients, which are gorgeous for summers. And then we move over to the softs. These are the color groups that blend summer with the soft, darker properties of autumn. So if we look at the dragon ring, compared to the silver in the pink watch over on the left, you see a touch of gold in the metal. It's not as blue. That darker gray could be an eyeliner, could be an eyeshadow color for a soft season. It's a natural shadow color for the person. There's no black here. And that three-dimensional effect, like a sculpture, that's a great look with autumn. The stone, beautiful, soft green. Could be cooler side, but you'll see a lot of colors similar to that in soft season eyes. Pewter bracelet. Well, now there's more distance between black and white, but autumn is here and they wear darkness well. In fact, they benefit from a little darkness in items. Overall textured metal softens the reflection compared with the item, let's say, at the top of the dark column. That's a darker, more contrasting effect, and it doesn't read as soft. Earrings at the bottom. That's a, I love this light pink sand color for both soft seasons. Warm side color in a soft metal. That color, it's a lovely hair highlight for soft seasons, and it also can serve as a very good uh, version of orange for soft summer. Next we come to the brights. This is winter combining with spring. Well winter gleams and spring sparkles so metals look best when they're shiny. There's a kind of double dose of shine, you, even bling you might say. The bubbles ring at the top. Light bright shine, smooth metal. Touch a yellow green in the metal if you compare it back to the watch at the top of the lights column. We don't see the deeper gold that we saw in the softs. This could be a nice uh, ring for the lights as well. Rings are small, they're worn far from the face. And those foamy frothy effects makes me think of the crest of a wave. That looks really good for, for light seasons. Next down, the ring with the three bands. I think of that as an iced, cool, silver beige. I could see it for lights as well as brights, kind of a neutral color. If you compare the color with the earrings at the bottom of the softs column, you can see this color is lighter and it's clearer, not as, uh, not as much visible gray. The effect is cooler and brighter. It's not as earthy or antique, and the reflections are more shiny as winter influences both bright winter and bright spring. That bracelet with the blue crystals, that reminds me of rushing water. It reminds me of the cover of one of the ebooks for the seasons. Clear color, icy feeling, sense of movement for spring. This is dynamic. Spring is movement oriented and it's not too dark because the brights are not very dark overall. Bright winter is the lightest of the winters and bright spring, they manage black, but not a lot of it. And then at the bottom, the silver lattice bracelet, smooth, just a touch of black to outline shapes. That works very well for bright seasons. It adds crispness without a lot of darkness. And triangles are a good shape for spring. They're angular and they're delicate. Moving on, we're gonna look at the, the darks column. Autumn is now mixing with winter. So we have the darkness of autumn, the darkness of winter combined. Uh, that doesn't mean every item has to be maximum dark. It just means that darkness is increasing here. At the top, a ring made of dark silver. Darker metals like tungsten, stones like hematite, they show up very well next to the skin. And on these people, they don't even look that dark. The next two bracelets have a braid motif. That's very good with autumn colored people. It looks really great. On the top, that braided mesh is textured throughout. So creates a softer reflection of light than the one below. Could be an option for dark autumn 
whose colors are also softer than dark winters. Now the one below, there's more contrast. We see colors closer to white and black, and the shine is sharper, it is smoother, it is whiter. Could be an option for dark autumn, but I see it may be better for dark winter or even true winter. And then, see, I, I always have to play, right? That black swirl ring, that's interesting. I, I, it might be your bracelet, I'm not sure. I like the textured silver, that's a good autumn effect. And I like the smooth stone. You got this contrast going on, right? Winter spreads the extremes apart a little bit. You have this helix swirl, looks like rings around a planet. I always enjoy some kind of little extra on winter because that's what the colors are like. They're kind of extra and they have the farthest extremes. So the theme is there anyways, you might as well expand on it. On these people, it looks normal, it looks interesting and it looks artistic and it does not look especially weird. Let's divide these up a little bit more. We're gonna compare the true cool parent season with their neutrals, just a different way of looking at things, starting with true summer, mixing in some spring. So true summer and the light seasons. True summer at the top, water droplets. Well, that is just as perfect as could be. Cool silver, even with a little pinkish tinge. You can see if you compare it with, say the center pair over in the light summer line. Clover leaf, blue or metal, great in a cool based season. The satin surface that creates a softer reflection. Silver crystal charms on the lower pair. They have hoops that are made of shinier metal, but I like the transparency of the charms, more uh, frosted, softer than diamond. And I could see these for light summer, light spring too. Spring, very flexible with shine level. It welcomes sparkle if it's done with a light touch. And the metal is no particular color. It makes it flexible in terms of seasons. Now, if we move over to the light summer row, cool neutral. So mostly summer, a little bit of spring, the pink pearl strands, the rope effect, silver with the multi-strand pink pearls. There's soft light from the stones. The chains are fine, like threads. Works really well with the colors of the stones. The filigree earrings in the center, they've got a pretty, slightly warm silver color, soft reflection, playful shape, pretty swirl, a little bit random, it's like the trail of a balloon. Small monochromatic stones, like the charm earrings in True Summer. Great effect on summer, same color, and then just vary the materials. We said at the beginning, see if the color of silver could belong with the lighter neutral strips of your color palette or your fabric selection, if you happen to have that, and then walk around and see how the two work together. They should look better together. If you think the stones are dropping in luster or are too shiny or somehow they're changing one another, maybe not the best combination. And then the last item, that cascade of connected hoops. It's an effect, effect I love for summer. Hoops with something dangling from it. Very shiny, but I could see it for the small diamond stones moving in the circle like rippling water and then the hoops create this airy lifted feeling of spring. We move over one to light spring. This is warm neutral now, more spring than summer, but still combined. Those jingle dot earrings at the top, the metal has some warmth, there's a yellow tone. Light moves across it fairly quickly, so more of a shimmy than moving ripples. Gold and silver together, terrific on neutral seasons, seasons with warm and cool parent. Next one down, that linear drop made of a warmer metal, yellower reflection, but still a brushed surface to go along with one of the summer groups. And then the green heart, that could be a brighter green. It could be more pistachio for spring, but it doesn't have to be perfect. And this is natural looking. It's candy enough for spring where heart shapes work really well. Smooth surface, pretty design. The color of the silver and the stone feel good together because sometimes the stones and the metals make no sense together. So all the parts are well chosen for one another. Let's start with true summer again, but this time move the other way over into the soft season. So summer's gonna blend with some autumn. Starting again with true summer, that's our cool season anchor. The soft cool silver watch, monochromatic colors and the hands and the numbers. There's no warmth in the silver and the item is more light than dark because the summer seasons are more light overall than they are dark. Those drop earrings, they look made of glass. Glass a great substance for summer because it doesn't have the hard feel and the sharp glitter of diamond, a softer kind of shine. 
the rings with the blue stones next, that beautiful blue green in a chalky looking stone surrounded by little tiny diamonds. It's a beautiful way to add glamour without adding weight or a feeling of demanding. The silver is shiny, but there's not much of it visible. And the main feature here is the color. And then the last item, soft silver, freshwater pearls, two summer classics together. Moving over to soft summer. So summer is adding a little bit of autumn, darker group overall. Well, the metal is a touch darker. You see that in the watch. Also a little warmer compared with true summer. The blue crystal pendant, a warmer chain than the true summer watch. Gorgeous smoky blue of soft summer in the stone. And also there's touches of pink in there. Like there's this internal gradient effect. So good. Cameo, beautiful for summers, the darker metal. Beautiful blue and white for soft summer too. That white is gorgeous, really. And then moving over one more soft autumn, lighter than the other autumns. A warmer silver in the cuff, textured basket weave, beautiful orderly pattern. So we don't have the random filigree swirl of the earrings we saw in light summer. Summer's a little more unpredictable. Autumn has a steadier, more constant feeling in how the colors and the combinations feel. Filigree earrings combine soft silver and soft gold. And then of course the beautiful stone. Many soft autumns have eyes like this. Colors are so soft that the eyes seem to be this most beautiful, subtle, light gray. It's really a magical effect. More gold than in the soft summer row because autumn is warmer than summer. But I think soft summer could easily wear, wear these. That beautiful neutrality of being able to wear gold and silver together. The feather bracelet, more substance, more density, more weight than filigree. Similar medium gray tones as the watch in the soft summer line. Light reflects in a rich, soft, strong, deeper way that gives a vintage feeling to the piece. The earrings as the final item, silver toned gold and brass and pewter. It creates a soft, warm, subtle reflection. Beautiful for soft autumn. They actually look like they're made of pearl. And the color is getting warm now, moving towards the warmer tones of autumn. Now we're going to be switching the true cool season starting point. Last two were true summer. The next two are going to be true winter. First, we're going to go from true winter and move down into the spring seasons for bright winter and bright spring. Starting with true winter, the blue black and icy blue earrings. That could work for true winter, dark winter, bright winter. It's just so basically winter. If for many of the items in these panels, items could be shared between adjacent rows or columns, whereas items from the columns on the far sides of each, each picture, that might depend on the person, might depend a little bit on the item. Here, the silver is not high shine, but color takes precedence for me. It's what I noticed first, the same as I noticed flowers over foliage in a garden. As long as the silver is consistent, like here it's cool and it's clear, it's going to be fine. I also like that in choosing the colors of the stones, they didn't use black and white, so the choices are kind of interesting, but they still maintain that high contrast that works very well for winter people, meaning they they used a very light icy blue with a very dark blue. The snaky bracelet is next, fine for bright winter too. Very smooth metal, high shine. The spider ring, I find this awesome. That would wake me up for sure. I would be watching it, waiting for it to start moving. I would wear that in a second. Blue or cooler metal for true winter. Lightweight feel for the spring in bright winter, but a darker metal and a dark winter would wear that just fine too. And the stone is also darker. And then the hoop made of cool silver combines black, diamond, winter classics together. Origami earrings. True winter, bright winter, bright spring. Style really is important with jewelry. It's like wearing the right sculpture because silver is so neutral. And so for me, color and shape almost trump the exact nature of the silver. And a little innovation, a little spontaneity is terrific with spring. Just makes more sense of the colors in a way that here's the balancing act of a butterfly on a pin. There's something otherworldly that works in the bright season. It's a little bit unsteady. There's a kinetic feeling. Very good with spring here in super shiny silver. The ring with the stone with the facets. 
shiny enough for winter, white and black are here, and in the stone you see little areas of black ink, but then there's this kaleidoscopic effect as the hand moves. You'd go through the gray range, that'd be just amazing. There's some green in this black that is found in true winter blacks, in all winter blacks, even dark autumn, even bright spring, kind of like a, I think of it like dark metallic avocado. And so I wanted to show you this ring because I thought the colors in it were really interesting. Next, the dream catcher, sparkly clear silver, little bits of black, there's jingle and movement for spring, and there's space through the net which lifts up the weight. Bright winter can wear any of true winter, but what excites bright seasons? It's a little bit of excess or a little bit of extravagance. So why it's exciting might be that it doesn't really look like excess when they wear it. And color's the easiest way to get there. So like with clothing, the color area doesn't have to be big, it just has to be there. You would see the turquoise, you would see the purple on another person right away. Silver shiny. With this color brightness, I just said that the exact silver doesn't matter too much, but with this color brightness, soft silver makes a softer statement, like the top pair in the true winter row. It's okay, but there really is room for another level of shine just to get up to normal and pull the entire uh, piece together. Then we move over to bright spring, more spring, less winter, tiny stars like diamond droplet waterfalls. We see the super shiny silver and the diamond, but it doesn't feel weighed down. The crisp edges around the shapes repeats the features of many people in this season. So it makes me think of Julie Andrews, you know, of Mary Poppins, not saying she's a bright spring, she just has those very crisp features. Then the ring, coastal blue and green bands, bits of black plenty for bright spring. They kind of sharpen the shapes, but they get weighed down by too much black. And as a warmer group where maybe uh, buttermilk replaces white, the softer shine on the metal makes the reflection seem warmer and less frozen, and then the colors do the rest. Orange and green earrings, still a warmer silver. I like these innovative color combinations and the areas, the green and the orange are different sizes. It's original, it's modern, and that works for bright spring. The little knot, earrings, warm and cool together, gold, silver, diamond. A client I had last month inspired these. When intense amber eyes, this color, are gazing at you out of an ivory cream face, it's the candy coating on the creme brulee. And when we analyze the coloring, turns out that skin is warmer than it is cool. If it were me, I wouldn't stop at earrings. I'd be buying a purse. Where do you see these eye colors? Mer people. I'd have to buy leggings and then I would imagine it was my tail. True winter is our starting point. Again, moving down into autumn. Less twinkle than spring. This is a steadier gleam. The feeling is more grounded than airy. Sometimes I think it's more terrestrial than celestial. First item in true winter, well that could work fine for a dark winter, shiny metal with leather-like strands. Dark autumn, the metal might be a little too light and shiny. The effect might be to make the metal lose richness and look tinny or less expensive. But true winter for sure, dark winter probably yes. The rope-edged hoop earrings, very shiny, based in black and white, no visible warmth in the metal, true winter's happy. The rope effect adds texture, tends to be a good uh, look for autumn because it implies strength, it implies resilience, and it also repeats what we said earlier about three-dimensional effects, the um, effect of a statue that looks terrific with autumn creates a sense of depth. The Apple Watch, also based in black and white, and reaches to the edges of that scale compared to the watch in the dark winter column we'll talk about in a minute. And then the red, white, and black bracelet, combination of colors I think looks good on winter. Same as navy, white, and red or pink looks good on summer. Pure, uncompromising red, single solid color. The eye is not called on to move around a lot. True winter, they're like a statue, there's an immobility that gives them their strength. In dark winter, we've got those two rings with the banded details using black with silver. Both introduce texture in the design. 
They have a medium or soft silver with black, small elements of brass and gold. So you've got that combined warm cool effect in the neutral seasons. Now the garnet ring takes those design elements and adds a rich smoky red, but the piece stays well balanced. A good way to know if you're on the right track is that the relationships stay happy when you add one more thing. Stone is warm enough that the gold doesn't look orange and white, black, and red again comes across really nicely for winters. Dark silver watch. It's a little softer and more charcoal gray than the watch in the true winter lineup. Less contrast in the face of the watch and more texture in the strap. And then dark autumn. We've got that tight stack bracelet. Dark autumn is good with silver and not just dark silver. What makes silver succeed on dark autumn is warmth, warm silver. The overall feeling is volcanically warm as well as volcanically dark, kind of like it was made by fire. The warmth of silver is especially important when they wear colors from the cooler side of their palette, including black. Neutral seasons have cool, neutral, and warm versions of all their colors. Dark Autumn does have black, but go to the warm side of black or wear brown if you're gonna wear silver. Otherwise, the effect can be kind of frozen. And then the textured hoops, that could be either dark season, darker, satin, silver, great texture, great density. That reflectivity, that might be too soft for true winter. Their texture and their strength, their shine is higher than this, but their texture is, is more Teflon. So, well, what's Teflon? The Apple Watch, that feels like Teflon to me. And then finally, the double cuff bracelet, more solid than vintage exactly. It feels mined from the earth. That would have some weight. It's artistic and it's natural, warmer, darker metal, and a little tarnished kind of like a lamp where you could rub the side and a genie would pop out. We looked at that map a lot today. It's like the fashion merry-go-round. There's stuff coming at you from all of 12 groups all the time. Your season, you only have one. Everybody does. That's where you get off the merry-go-round. You never got to climb on that train again. I hope that you found some good information here today and that if you had some comments about why certain items were put in certain seasons or questions about how to apply this information to your group of natural coloring that you will ask me. I'm always happy to answer. And as always, I enjoyed our time together. I am so grateful that you are here and I look forward to seeing you again next time. Bye-bye. Mm -hmm.